Here with Raging Cajuns head coach Mark Hudspeth and coming off two straight bowl wins, but not winning a conference title. And it appears that's the goal this year is to, to get that elusive conference title. Well, that's our goal each year. I mean, that's awfully hard to attain. There's a lot of good teams in this conference, but our team is, is really hungry because we've come up a little short in the conference title the last two years. And uh, we finished strong with the bowl wins, but we've still got some work left to be done. So hopefully we can, we just want to take it one game at a time and uh, see where we fall at the end of the season. So hopefully we can get off to a great start. For what it's worth here at the preseason poll, you are co-favorites with Louisiana Monroe. Do you embrace the expectations of everyone around you, or how do you feel about it? Well, hopefully it's just a little bit of a measuring stick of how far a program has come, and at least our, what our perception is. And, uh, and I don't know if the perception is that we're a great team, but hopefully we're just a better team that can compete for the conference championship. And I hope we can too, because there's a lot of good football teams out there that can compete for this for this championship. And so it'll take a team that's going to stay healthy the entire season, is going to get a break here or there, and and that their key players uh, have have good seasons. And so um, we're excited about where we are now. But most importantly, what's important is where you obviously uh, where you where you wrap up and finish up. You've been very good at quarterback the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, Blaine was terrific. Broadway comes in last year. Did anything he did surprise you, and how much confidence do you have in him from what he did last year? Well, I think he, uh, I thought he probably played, uh, I was probably a little surprised is how well he played uh, being his first season. You know, he wasn't even starting when the season began. And then uh, he came in, got thrown in after our starter got hurt and just really took off from there and got better each week and then finished uh, with an unbelievable performance in the last last four games. And so I just think uh, he's still got a lot more upside. He's only going to get better. He's got two more seasons left. Hard worker, um, just a guy of great character. So he's got the intangibles that you want your quarterback to have. Finally, high expectations, but the schedule makers didn't do you guys any favors. Uh, only two home games before November, only five overall, a bunch of Tuesday night games. Just talk about the challenge of navigating a really quirky schedule. Yeah, brutal schedule. Uh, never been a part of anything like this. It was just five home games, seven on the road, two games early, and really it could be against both those teams probably will be in the top 25. And so uh, we've got our work cut out for us. Scheduling, it's a nightmare. Uh, because we've got two Tuesday games, like you talked about, a Thursday game, two open dates. And so um, it's just going to be a huge challenge for our football team to keep that focus when you get out of your routine. And that's what the, the schedule does, it gets you out of your routine. That's Mark Hudspeth, the Regent Cajuns head coach. They are the preseason co-favorites to win the Sun Belt.